educational activities and affairs to welcome all of you to the official opening of the new academic year 2023-2024 for international students at the Medical University of Plovdiv. I would like to present to you the academic body of our Medical University. Mariana Murjuva, Rector of the Medical University Plovdiv. <laughs> Professor Dr. Bogoy Marino, Vice Rector of Science and Research. <laughs> Professor Dr. Viljana Vichyga, Vice Rector of International Cooperation and Project Management. <laughs> Professor Dr. Ivan Ivanov, Vice Rector of Quality Management. Professor Dr. Anastas Batal, Vice Rector of University Hospital Coordination. <laughs> Professor Dr. Tanya Kitova, Vice Dean of Foreign Students Affairs in the Faculty of Medicine. <laughs> Associate Professor Dian Nechev, Dean of the Faculty of Dental Medicine. <laughs> Professor Plamen Zagorchev, Dean of the Faculty of Pharmacy. <laughs> Professor Dr. Maria Senergieva, Dean of the Faculty of Public Health. <laughs> Associate Professor Maria Boshkova, Director of the Medical College. <laughs> Associate Professor Dimitar Mirchev, Director of the Department of Foreign Languages and Specialized Training. <laughs> dear professors and students, dear guests, to give a start of our official ceremony, we should welcome the flag of the Medical University of Plovdiv. Our flag is in color of our institution, Burgundi, and with the logo of the university. It symbolizes love, persistence, and dedication to profession, and our motto dedicated to humanity. Please welcome the flag of Medical University of Plovdiv. national anthem of the Republic of Bulgaria.
director, professors and students, we warmly welcome the Honorary Council of Bulgaria at this ceremony. And presented from these councils are Mr. Giuseppe De Francesco, Honorary Council of Italy to Plovdiv. Dr. Mariana Tulakno, Honorary Council of the Federal Republic of Germany to Plovdiv. <laughs> Mr. Korkan Kungaru, General Council of the Republic of Turkey to Plovdiv. <laughs> Mr. Omer Manzur Malik, Deputy Head of Mission of the Embassy of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan to Sofia, that she will join us in some minutes. It is a privilege for all of us to greet the representatives of the Texas University Health Science Center, El Paso, United States, Dr. Richard Lang, President, <laughs> and his colleagues, Associate Professor Robusueto Wells, Director of the Specialized Program, Department of Emergency Medicine, <laughs> Dr. Russell Baker, and Dr. Brian Wilson. And also, our colleagues from our partner universities, Professor Dr. Cvetanka Kolovska, Vice Rector of Education and Accreditation, Professor Dr. Professor Kristina Yancheva, Rector of Agricultural University. Our celebration was also honored by the heads of the university hospitals. Professor Dr. Ilyan Doikov, Manager of the University Hospital for Stella. <laughs> Professor Dr. Ivan Dechev, Deputy Director, Diagnostics and Treatment Activity, University Hospital St. George. Our dear guests at the opening ceremony are the members of the Board of the Trustees of the Medical University of Plovdiv, Mr. Lubuzar Fratov, Chairman. And Mr. Zaprian Kuzmichov. <laughs> Members of the faculty management, heads of the departments, and professors are also with us. Please give a round of applause for all our dear guests and participants in today's ceremony. <laughs> the Medical University of Plovdiv received greetings for opening of the 2023-2024 academic year by His Excellency Alexios Marius Liveropoulos, Ambassador of the Republic of Greece, by Her Excellency Olesya Ilashchuk, Ambassador of Ukraine, by Her Excellency Agnese Rusipopovska, Ambassador of the Republic of North Macedonia, by His Excellency Angel Angelo Bulgarian Ambassador of the Republic of North Macedonia, by Associate Professor Dr. Ekaterina Arabska, Rector of the Higher School of Agribusiness and Rural Development, and by Professor Georgi Manol, President of the High School of Security and Economics. Every new start is full of challenges and opportunities. Each one of you, dear students, has the opportunity to learn from the best. I believe you will study hard to improve the chances to create a better future for yourselves and for the society we all live in. Now I would like to give the floor to our rector, Professor Mariana Mudrova, to deliver her welcome speech on the opening ceremony of the new academic year for international students of the Medical University of Plovdiv. Dear professors and students, dear honorary councils, dear rectors and vice rectors, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor on behalf of the Academic Board of the Medical University of Plovdiv and on my own behalf to extend our special congratulations to newly admitted students in our university for their choice to devote themselves to medicine and health sciences 
and to their victory resulting from hard preparation and conscious responsibility to society. I especially would like to congratulate the first year international students for their choice to study here in our university. Dear first year students, well done for your success. Your presence here today is another proof of the good public image of the Medical University of Plovdiv, the image that we have been successfully building for nearly 80 years. And the image is a result of the dedication and professionalism of our academic teachers and the persistent pursuit of knowledge and science of our students. Following the tradition since the establishment of the first non-capital university in Bulgaria, and that was in 1945, and the creation of the new ideas that each generation built on, Medical University Plovdiv now was transformed into a modern high school preparing knowledgeable and capable medical specialists. The Medical University of Plovdiv is building its future with professionalism, high standards for quality education, well-established academic traditions and uh, innovations. The implementation of state-of-the-art digital products places the university at the forefront of personalized medical education. We provide education that meets world standards through the already built and constantly modernized infrastructure as well as through an e-based learning process. You, dear students, will be trained in excellent laboratories with the most modern technologies, for example, 3D interactive tables for virtual dissections and latest uh, generation of uh, machines. The Medical University of Plovdiv will make you feel comfortable in the modern seminar halls, research complexes and rich libraries. Medical simulation technologies play a major role in the digital digitization of students' practical training. The Simulation Training Center of our university is the only one in Eastern Europe and one of the sixth in Europe accredited and recently re-accredited by the American College of Surgeons. Simulators, cybernetic dummies, virtual reality and electronic patients are a small part of the digital world engaged in the education of students and PhD students. Future pharmacists will be trained in the Pharmaskill Center Virtual Laboratory and that places Medical University Plovdiv among the leading European universities apply new tools for teaching and individual learning through artificial intelligence and virtual reality. Our university is currently building a scientific center of competence in personalized medicine, the so-called Perimed for short, and we have won numerous infrastructures and research projects, thanks to which we have modernized the library and information center, and we have built the so-called complex of translational neurosciences. In addition, I would like to emphasize the fact that Medical University Plovdiv is one of the 10th higher education institutions in our country, which two years ago received the status of a research university. And it is a high appreciation for our significant contribution to the development of cutting edge scientific research and real results of our research activity. And also recognition that we are actively involved in building policies in the science and research activities as a driving force of modern medical science. The undisputable success is also a base of the high rating of our university and from its establishment until now, Medical University has been a benchmark for quality education, high standards, well-deserved success and recognition both in our country and abroad. Our university is among the leaders of medical education in our country and from the fifth consecutive years we have won the first place in the training in the professional field medicine 
in the first place this year in the training in public health together with the uh, medical university in Sofia. For nearly 80 years, our university has educated over 65,000 students from 50 countries on five continents. Today, nearly 500 new international students become a part of the academic community in our university. Our university is a member of the Association of European University and four other international organizations. The University of Erasmus plus partners are 125 universities from 25 European and non-European countries. And this will give your students the opportunity to participate in student mobility with prestigious partner universities. Starting this year, we are launching several joint programs with other higher education institutions in the country and in Europe. For the first time, we also opened a new specialty in the medical aspects of speech pathology in the training of which American experts are involved. And our dear guests coming from the Texas universities are here to train our paramedics in the new methods in paramedic education. But the most important reason for the success of our university is the academic spirit. It is driven by motivated teachers and daring students. These are the people who give life to the most human dreams and have made the motto of our university dedicated to humanity their cause. Dear students, we rely on your awareness and responsibilities as future doctors, dentists, pharmacists. You will be responsible to your health and the health of your loved ones, patients and teachers. Be conscious, responsible and reasonable. We, your teachers, will always help you. I hope you will participate in the activities of the Student Union and our Students Association. By the way, the President of our Student Council, Victoria Gramini, is among us and she will congratulate you to a member of the Student uh, uh, Council. You will have the opportunity to actively participate in the cultural and social activities of the university as well as to play sports. We provide to our students well equipped sport halls, cozy student dormitories and canteens. All of you come from different countries. From the United Kingdom are coming more than 40% of our first year students. Italy, usually during the last years the percentage varies between 15 and 20. This year we have 19% of students coming from Italy. Greece, nearly 14%. Germany, 5%. Ireland, Sweden, Cyprus, USA, Turkey, Canada, Netherlands, Belgium, Nigeria, Norway, even Egypt, India, Russia, Nepal, Kenya. So these are more than 30 countries that are represented by you, our new students here in Medical University. I wish you motivation and enthusiasm to do well in your studies. In addition to studying, I also hope you will spend time enjoying our beautiful city of Plovdiv, considered to be the oldest one in Europe, one of the oldest cities even in the world and the Bulgarian capital of culture. Making friendships with your colleagues and sharing lovely moments with them will help you cope with future challenges be successful and happy. During your studies you will establish everlasting contacts, info unforgettable friendships and some of you will even start families. I hope these years will be among the best ones in your lives, filled with positive emotions, success and satisfaction. One of the most valuable lessons you will learn here will be to work in a team. Compare yourselves to the best and bear your own responsibility. I hope you will face everything that lies ahead with wisdom and diligence. Be curious and brave, be ambitious and human. They say doing what you love is freedom and loving what you do is happiness, so be free and be happy. 
the mission to which we will devote your life will give you the strength to follow your dreams, keep your spirit high, and believe that life is full of wonders. Starting from today, you become a part of our academic family, our challenging present and full of hope future of our university. Dear professors, universities have a key role in the transition to a sustainable society and it is our responsibility to inspire students to fully support them on their way to profession. There are no limits of knowledge and there is always room for improvement. I wish you to continuous, generously share your knowledge and experience to motivate students to be successful and have high moral. Be a good example for them. Dear colleagues and students, have a successful new academic year. Thank you for sharing this very special day with us, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, and together we can do much more. Good luck. Professor Mojava, it was very hard for speech. Now I give the floor to Grace Aruda Migba Oluwarante Akinje, first year student in medicine, enrolled in Medical University of London with maximum overall grade, to address her greetings on behalf of all new coming students. Please. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me present this speech. I would like to first and foremost thank our Rector of Caltech Medical University, Professor Dr. Mariana Mujiva, and our professors for welcoming us to the University and to Plovdiv. I chose to study medicine because it is a profession that has a unique way of helping people, as we specifically target finding, treating, and researching pain, known and rare diseases. The healthcare sector is truly collaborative and has a positive impact on the health of humanity. I came to Bulgaria as the Medical University of Plovdiv attracted me with their facilities, professors and opportunities reachable by just studying here. The culture of Bulgaria is rich and there are many things to explore just in Plovdiv alone before seeing all of Bulgaria. Thank you to God for giving me the strength through Christ and is a testimony that I am now able to call myself a medical student. To my family, my mother, my father, and my brother never gave up on me even when I was struggling to believe in myself. To my agency and their team that helped me settle, Med Connect Europe to help calm my anxiety as a first year student living in a new country. I'm grateful for familiar faces and friends, such as my good friend Miss Ivanina D from XMBD Limited that helped me find an accommodation, never knowing that I would also find a friend and a sister along the way. Friends I have wanted with in a matter of days, as well as the many others I will meet. And my Bulgarian family, Sabeti and Didi, that looked after me when I was quite young and gave me the, study, um, the confidence, confidence to study here. Also, thanks once again to the institution for providing all of us here to go to university in order to fulfill our dreams. It is truly a privilege. Congratulations to all stu um, students studying Plovdiv, starting Plovdiv Medical University. We have all worked hard in our studies throughout secondary school to get here, and I believe that we can continue that drive through university. The dedication and discipline towards our study will increase onwards to our chosen careers, but as long as we stay positive and support each other, more success awaits all of us. We will all build lifelong relationships along the way. Studying at Plovde Medical University is a great achievement, and I wish for all of us to have many other achievements to follow in abundance. Thank you once again for your time. Thanks for listening. Now I would like to give the floor to Mohamed Jafar. He's a student in dental medicine and a member of the Students' Council and he will welcome the first-year international students. Dear rectors, deans, dear esteemed guests, and of course to our latest addition to our student community here, dear first-year students. It is with great pleasure to stand here today as the representative from the Student Council 
responsible for uh, international students to welcome you here to our university. When I was in your position about three years ago, I absolutely had no idea what to expect um, from my experiences here. Um, but to say that I was thrilled um, with how things progressed over the last few years uh, is an understatement. We don't quite understand what it is that we're expecting from medical or dental school when we first arrive here. But with time, we change, we mold into the people that we need to be in order to be the future doctors, dentists and pharmacists. Now, they say that you truly discover yourself at university and many of you are here for different reasons. Some of you this is your lifelong dream. For some of you this is your second chance at a better life. And you don't really understand the significance of the statement that you discover yourself during university until you actually do go through it. You come in as a first year student with little probably experience in the medical world and with time you will accumulate different experiences. We as an international community here, we will graduate from the Medical University of Bogdiv and we will go to different countries around the world, be it Italy, be it Germany, be it Greece, the United Kingdom, Ireland, Sweden, Finland. And with the international community here of all of these different nationalities, it means that you will build lifelong friendships with future doctors, dentists and pharmacists from different countries around the globe, which creates the opportunity for networking like a way that doesn't exist in other countries and other universities. My own experience uh, at this university has been very positive. I went from not knowing anything in first year to now treating uh, my third patient this week, um, which is an unbelievable experience um, that is unique in a place like this. One of the things that I didn't quite expect uh, from being a student in Bulgaria is learning about Greek cafe culture. Um, which I recommend for all of you to try out. It's, it involves going to six hours in each cafe. It's very interesting, I recommend it. Um, but this is one of those advantages that you get from being at an international university with students from all over the world. But at the end of the day, the Medical University of Plovdiv, unlike most universities, is a medical university, which means that everyone around you will at some point be, is responsible for healing people, whether it is in their, with their teeth, with their general health, or with prescribing medication. And that comes down to the fact that this university slogan is dedicated to humanity. And that means that you have, as future doctors, as future dentists, as future pharmacists, an incredible responsibility. And that responsibility is echoed, not just by yourselves, but also by your teachers, by your professors and of course, of course all the people behind me who are, who are responsible for making this university work. And that is echoed in all of your classes and all of your lectures to make sure that you know what you need to know. So it is with great pride to study such noble professions in such an interesting establishment. It is for sure not easy. There are going to be ups, there are going to be downs. At some times you're going to feel uh, like you're overwhelmed. but with the support of fellow students, you can make it work. Um, and I've attended in the last three years every opening ceremony and every graduation ceremony, which means that you get an unusual opportunity to see uh, how people begin and then how they become at the end. So I recommend for all of you to see that and to make the most of the opportunity that you've been given to study such an incredible profession. I wish you luck, I welcome you all again, and best wishes to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mohamed, for your sharing the experience and uh, your words were really inspiring. And now, on behalf of the international students, Wei Ho Chui, a fifth year student in medicine, will deliver his greetings. Welcome everybody.
everybody. I hope everyone can hear me. So, welcome rectors, invited guests, and I'm glad to say, with absolute pleasure, my colleagues in first year, and hopefully friends soon. I've been uh, having this amazing privilege to stand before you and to talk to you about my experience. And honestly, one word, amazing. I wish I could put a full stop on that and just leave now. Because really it has been quite an amazing process. When I came in 2019 uh, and I was attending this talk, I have to admit that I was a little bit close-minded. I thought um, a medical diploma, fancy piece of paper, um, and then after that I'll be working in a hospital, you know, scrubs, um, overnight shifts, etc. But actually, as I rose through the years, I realized I couldn't be more wrong. Um, I decided to attack my medical studies with an open mind. You know, it's not just about the medicine. Okay, it is, sorry. But there's so much more to it, it's so colorful. There's social medicine, where they're looking after the community, physiotherapy, where they're using you know, new technologies. You know, you have scientists, microbiologists, who look into the lens of a microscope to a world that, you know, most people don't even see. And, for example, biochemists, probably a subject I really enjoyed a lot, they see the waltz between the hydrogens and the carbons. You can tell I'm pretty swayed by the medicine. You can tell that I've really enjoyed my time. And that's kind of my main message, which is to try everything with an open mind. Some of you might not know what you want to do right now, you know, and, and that's okay. This institution has so many facilities for you to try things out and to just, just have a go at everything. Um, my main point would actually be to look after your mental health because I believe you guys are all strong enough to, you know, go for the challenges, push yourselves. I want you to not just study for that exam grade or for someone else's expectations, but even that minute little nerve with a really, really complicated anatomical name. Remember it, because that nerve could allow humans to feel emotions, anger, joy, happiness. And so push yourselves to try and appreciate all the fine details. Um, I made a point of looking after your mental health. This city is amazing. There's beautiful mountains, there's calm rivers, you can take a walk with them. You can have a barbecue with your friends on your balcony. And that's medicine. It's all about teamwork. I don't just represent this beautiful institution, but I actually welcome all of you, um, and actually that includes the parents as well, to a international body um, of medical students, of medical support. Because, for example, the opportunities that I had, you know, I'm working with medical students in the US, we have obviously international representatives here. I was in Belgium a week ago, enjoying a surgery conference, and next week, for example, I have this amazing opportunity to, to go running in France. You know, all of these things, it couldn't have happened without this institution. In this institution, you will have professors who will support you, who will push you all the way. You will have friends that will celebrate with you when you come running out of these doors after a really long exam. You can find a stranger on one of these benches and you can open up to them about your, you know, whatever's going on in your head. And for me, I always call up my mother, I always tell her about my cases uh, and what interests me. So, medicine is a team game and play the team game. Apart from in, in exam rooms, please don't play the team games and then you get in trouble. And so I kind of leave you with this final quote, which is, defeat may be splendid, victory may still be shame, the luck is good, the prize is pleasant, but the glory is in the game. Thank you very much.
dear professors and students, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, for achieving a maximum grade at the, at the entrance exams, the Rector's Council took a decision with protocol number 16, dated 19th of September 2023, to award students enrolled in the three faculties of Medical University of Plovdiv with a maximum overall grade. I would like to invite the Rector, Professor Murjivan, to hand in the awards to these students. Please give a big round of applauses for all these students. Grace Adura Midva Awande Kimche. She is from Great Britain, Specialty Medicine. Konstantinos Panayotidis from Greece, Specialty Medicine. Marshall Farham from the Federal Republic of Germany, Specialty Dental Medicine. Elisabeth Valva from Greece, Specialty Pharmacy. Dear students, you will receive a very high quality, outstanding education and training at the Medical University of London. You will have the opportunity to get involved into the life of the university and students' organizations. There are plenty of opportunities in addition to acquiring knowledge and I would like to encourage everyone to make the most of it. Our next greeting to you will be the student song of the Medical University of Plovdiv whose lyrics and music are written by Professor Stefan Kustianev, a former rector and now the chairman of our General Assembly of the University. May this song be in your heart from now on. Создал любовь и милосердие учени, посвятый на хуманоста, да будешь медик и призвание, това е наша миссия и наша судьба, учител и почетно звание, любви сме креативния дух и в свободната мисъл. За вещание в нас ще гори, ще дава в живота ни смисъл. Алма матер свещена, светът и навуката ще покорим. Ще изкачим небосклона, отвъд хоризонта ще вдигнем очи.
ritual in Bulgaria at the beginning of the new academic year to spill water from copper vessel with a branch of geraniums in front of this gate before the entering of the auditorium complex, which symbolizes our wish for good luck to all of you. I would like to invite the rector, Professor Mariana Morgiva, to perform this ritual and thus give a start of the new academic year. Thank you. This is a privilege for me to do this ritual for your dear first year students and all the other international students in our university. So what I will do now is to pour water ahead. You can go in this. Uh, building, which will be the main building for your lectures. Good luck for all of you. 